Hi again, I'm going to do a video on roundabouts. Now, I live in Milton Keynes and there's quite a few roundabouts around Milton Keynes. So um, I've done a, a video on mini roundabouts. I've done a video on spiral roundabouts. So I'll put the, the link at the top there. So one will come after the other. It's just a matter of clicking on the link and that'll take you straight to the video if you can look at them. Uh, this video I'm going to do is going to be on, on roundabouts itself. Starting off with the basic stuff and then getting more complicated. Um, I hope you enjoy it. If you do, click like. Feel free to share it, and um, if you like the channel, subscribe to it. I'm, I'm going to uh, switch it round now, and then we'll start the video, okay? So we're just moving off now, and um, we're going to cover roundabouts in this uh, video. So I'll try and keep it as simple as I can. I'm, I'm assuming that you've, you've already had instructions about what to do, and you just need a bit more clarification. So we're just coming to a dual carriageway and we're going to do a left turn and I'll take us on a dual carriageway we're headed towards the first roundabout. So just check your mirrors to the left, centre left signal, checking to your right, slowing down for the traffic, selecting the gear you need. A nice little rolling start scene, aren't they? So Standard roundabout ahead of us, it's got four exits. So we're going to go left. Now, straight forward, you've got the sign coming up on your left. That's your prompt. Here it comes. So you've been checking your mirrors, centre mirrors left, centre mirror left, signal, slow yourself down, get your speed under control. Now, if you're not sure, get your speed down for second gear. Give yourself a bit more time to see. Check into your right, look into where you want to go. Check into your right, look into where you want to go. Check into your right to go. Simple as that. If it's not clear, you're slowing down for the giveaway line. I'll do that again in a second, the next one. So that's the nice thing about Wilson Keynes, is that they'll come along about every seconds. So we've got another roundabout, we're going to go left again. So it's that's your sign on the left coming up, so that could be your prompts. So as you see it, as you get as a guy gets next to it, centre mirror, left mirror, signal, braking, bringing that speed under control. As you get better at your roundabouts, you might approach them in third gear, but we're just going to approach it second, we're slowing the car down. We're in the left lane, check to your right, there's a couple of cars, check to your left, see what's going on, check to your right, there's another car, slowing down, and then we're going to carry on going. So I'm doing about 10 mile an hour as I'm starting to go through it. Nice approach speed, nice and easy. There are bits easy on roundabouts. If you're approaching too fast, you're going to make it hard on yourself. Nice space for the car in front of you. And another roundabout. We're going to do another left turn and then we're going to move on from there. So it's check your mirror to the left as you get towards it, sign it, centre mirror, left mirror, signalling, bringing your speed down again. And like I say, if you're not sure, bring it down to about 18 mile an hour per second gear. We're in the left lane, there's only two lanes here. Check to your right, look where you want to go, and that'll make you turn with the bend. Check to your right again, it's nice and clear. Accelerating out the bend, because you don't want to be going slower at that point. You want to be going faster to build your speed up. So we're moving along, and we're gonna go... We're gonna go ahead at this next one. So as we approach it, there's your, there's your roundabout sign. So at this point, check your centre mirror, check your two side mirrors, so it's going behind you. No signal required, we're going to go ahead at this point. We're slowing ourselves down. Now as we get closer, this single lane's going into two. Right lane's going right, left lane's going to go ahead or left. So we're going to go ahead in the left lane. Check into the right, slowing down for first gear for the traffic. Waiting for the traffic. Got my gas on, got my first gear selected. Biting point, and I'm off. It's important to stick to your left lane. Mirrors to the left, signal left, tire on you coming up. Check your centre mirror, cancel your signal at this point. Accelerating the way, going back up the gears. If you 
Take your time going up the gears, and you're still at the moment. I'm doing approaching 50 mile an hour, selecting 50 gear, and I've only been out there around about, about 20 seconds. And I'm not accelerating hard, I'm just building the speed up naturally. If you're taking your time, you're encouraging cars to overtake you. So, whenever you approach a roundabout, if you want to go ahead, you just need to look at the lane markings on the ground. It's either going to be two lanes or three lanes. Time, might strong green, just take your time, expect it to change. That's what could happen. That's it, we're going to carry on going. So, we're just going to go left at this next roundabout, and that'll bring us back to where we want to go, and then we'll start doing some heads and rights. So, centre mirror, left mirror, signal left. Few cars ahead of you, so you want to keep your gap from the car in front of you. You don't want to be getting too close. Speed's coming down nice. Speed's coming down nice. You want to get your gear changed on just before this left bend. No point in changing gear on the bend. Check to your right. Look where you want to go. Check to your right. Definitely clear. Accelerate a little bit as you come to the roundabout. Don't accelerate too hard, otherwise you're going to go wide on the bend. Accelerate at this point. Back up to third gear. Building that speed up. So you've got a single single lane in front of us. So when you come to roundabout, it's more than likely going to be two lanes at the roundabout. If you're on a dual carriageway, most of the time it's probably going to be three lanes when you get to the roundabout. So we're building our speed up there quite nice. Sticking to your left lane on the roundabout, don't shave across into the right lane, mirrors to the left, signal left, accelerate as you're coming off, cancelling your signal, checking your mirror off and see what's behind you. You always check your mirror when you enter a new road. Now, the roundabout coming up, I'm going to do a right turn, but I'm going to do a U turn to come back down the hill to another right turn. So, there's your prompt of the roundabout sign. So, it's centre mirror, right mirror, signal. Let the hill slow you down so you're off the gas. The hill slow you down, a little bit of brake to help it. Selecting the lower gear at this point, you're in the right lane to go round. So you're checking to your right, follow the bend round a little bit to the left, go to the island on the right. But don't get too close to the island, otherwise you're going to clip when you turn it. So you stay in the right lane. When you get to the exit before you want, you check your mirror. So this one before, centre mirror, left mirror, signal to come off and come right across to the middle of the lane you want. Accelerating, checking and cancelling signal. So checking your centre mirror what's behind you. Now the next roundabout we're going to do a right turn again. We're going to be able to take a third exit this time. We're not going to do a U-turn, third exit. I think the sign says book if you want it. So the centre mirror, right mirror, signal. Slowing yourself down, it's going down now, it's encouraging to go faster. And I'm slowing down for a second because there's a bit of traffic on the right. I'm looking where I'm going. Still more traffic on the right, so I'm slowing down for the giveaway line in front of me. Checking to the right, waiting for the car, get my gas on, get myself ready, and I'm moving off again. I'm in the right lane to go round. If you stick to your lane, you find centre mirror, left mirror, signal. So the exit before, when that sign gets there, that's your prompt to check your mirrors and signal and start coming across. speed up again. So whenever you're doing roundabouts, you, you, you need to know where you want to go as you approach it, so that's where you look at the sign. So if you're going to go right, it's usually for an exit, you just check this the sign on. Um, and you look at the lane markings, because occasionally they'll tell you it's going the right lane to go ahead, because it might be that there's no right turn on the roundabout, so it's usually using the lanes better. So if you just say that, then you're in the right lane when you go ahead. We're going to go right at this roundabout. So 
Where's your sign? Keep it a two second gap in the car in front of you. Check your centre mirror, check your right mirror, signalling right. You're off the gas at this point. No point in getting too close. You bring your speed down. Now I'm going to select third gear's time because it looks a little bit quieter. I'm in the right lane, checking to the right. Now it's a little bit busy again, so I'm slowing down for first gear. So a lot depends on what you see. Back on the gas, get your biting point, and you're off quite quickly. Now the exit before, there's just signs, centre mirror, left mirror, signal. Then you're coming off right in the middle of the lane. And then you're building your speed up. Now remember, if you're going uphill, don't change up gears too quick, otherwise you're not going to accelerate as quite fast. The car will struggle in high gear, it's pretty too soon. So we're going to go ahead at the roundabout, and then we'll do a, a left, and then we'll do a couple. Some nice progress. A single track lane at the moment. So there's your sign. Check your mirrors behind you. All three of them. Slow yourself down. We're in the. We're going to go ahead, so there's nothing saying go in the right lane, so you're going to set the left lane to go ahead. Check into your right, slowing down at the same time. This car's on the right, we're in the left lane. And we're slowing down for the traffic. At this point, select your first gear, waiting for the traffic, get yourself ready with your gas, get your biting point. Now, if it's a busy area or you're on the hill, you'll probably use your handbrake more. Check your mirrors to the left, signal left. And the Lord is someone who who does it slightly wrong, but as long as you know what you're doing, you'll spot the wrong one. So it's like that. Now we're in the left lane to go ahead, there was a car in the right lane, I'd rather stay behind me because he's alert, I just overtook me on the outside, and that's his, that's his choice. It's his risk. As long as you're aware of what's happening around you, and that's why you check your mirrors. So you can kind of react to that. So if, if someone tries to go past you in the wrong lane, just lift up the gas, let go. So we're going to go left at this roundabout. So it's centre mirror, left mirror, see no left. Tell everyone what you're doing, slow yourself down. So one lane is going to divide the two, right on the bend. So you get your gear change done before the bend, and you've got all this time to lift the clutch off slowly. If you lift it off quickly, you're going to jump at the car, and you're just encouraging the car to, to jump. So we're going to go ahead again. And this is a good example of what's coming up here. Of, um, as you approach a roundabout, look at the lane mark and it tells you what to do. So as we get closer, watch the video because what, 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 it, will, what it will say is, it will say, right lane goes ahead, it will say. So what's important is that when, if you're in the right lane, you don't come across to the left until you're coming up. Otherwise you'll pull the car up on the left, do the same left. So check behind you, there's no signal because we're going to go ahead. We'll slow ourselves down, give a little bit of space for the van. You'll see the lane mark is better then, so I'll drop back a little bit more. You can see there, the left lane's going left, right lane's going to go ahead. So I'm in the right lane, checking to the right, there's a motorbike coming around. Remember, motorbikes, you've got to be careful with them because you can, pretty, you can easily miss them. I'm in the right lane, don't do what that van's doing, the van went straight across to the left, it's dangerous. Check your mirrors to the left, signal left and come across at this point. Yeah, that van then is a good example of cutting across too soon, you'll get your side of your car smashed. Drop it back from the van, because I don't know what he's doing, he's going a bit too slow, but if you get too close to him, all you're doing is encouraging problems. Now it's too dangerous to overtake, so you just sit back, keep a two second gap. If you're not sure how to measure a two second gap, see the lamppost coming up as it goes past it. Let's go zero, one, two, and a bit. It's a two second gap. So you, you fix the stationary objects in the distance, and as the, the car in front of you goes past it, you count zero, one, two. If you can't remember that, say the rhyme, all in the rule gets a two second rule. If you're too close to them, they break hard, you'll go straight in the back. So we're going to do a left at the roundabout and we're going to go on a dual carriageway. 
and that's when you're going to get that roundabout three lanes. And I'll point out to you when we're doing it. So it's a mirror to the left, signal left, slowing down. Keep it to your left lane, checking to your right. It's nice and clear. Car on going. Now, the thing about dual carriageways, and I'll put a link at the top if you understand dual carriageways, left lanes for driving, right lanes for overtaking. If you're sat in the right lane all the time, you're just um, annoying everyone, and if it's on your test, you probably won't pass in the right lane for no reason. So you're building your speed up. There's national speed limit on here, so it's 70 mile an hour. So a reasonable speed is probably about 60 miles an hour on here. We're gonna go ahead at the roundabout, just so you know, there's a dual carriageway, it's gonna be three lanes there. Left was left, right was right or ahead, and then middle lane was ahead. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use the middle lane. Now if you're not sure if you're gonna be two or three, see the white line on the, on the right dividing the two lanes. If you look at it, it's probably gonna to go to the right as it gets closer on the bend. So we're checking our mirrors. You can just about see it starting to go to the right, making the right lane narrower, making space to the middle. Checking to the right, see the car going round, so slowing down, and leads you to the left lane on the roundabout. Check your mirrors to the left, signal left to come off. And the thing about dual car is there's always some unusual. So we've got this truck, the red one, so we'll check your right side, little right shoulder, signal to come out nice and easy. Otherwise, if you don't look at the road, you're gonna slam your brakes on. Check your left side, little left shoulder, signal. In fact, what we'll do is a diversion. We'll do a right U turn and come back. So it's mirrors to right, signal right, shoulder, signal right. Then we're going to go all the way around and come back. We'll, we'll come back the other way. You can see the distance is all road works. So we're in the right lane going round, taking the fourth exit. There's one exit if you're not sure. There's two exits. As you pass the third, you'll check your mirrors and you'll do your signal. Check your mirrors to the left, signal left, and if it's clear, you come right across to the left lane, because that's the driving lane. You don't stay in the right lane coming off, that's wrong. If you if you see a car on your left when you're coming off a roundabout, and you're worried that you, you're gonna come across into it, then you take the right lane, and you leave your left signal off, and then you check your left shoulder and try and get back in when you can. So we're just gonna do one more. Again. So we're going to use the middle lane. As we get closer, you see the lane mark is a little bit clearer here, so we're slowing ourselves down. The right lane is going to the, to the right, getting narrower. The middle lane's appearing. So you turn with the bend, check to your right, it's nice and clear. Come across to the left lane on the roundabout, because that's yours, you can't go to the right. The right lane's for the car in the right lane as you approach. So you'll see the car in the right lane just going to pass me in a few seconds. So if you go to the right lane on the roundabout, you've got to cut it up. So that's why it's important to have lanes of wind on the big roundabouts. Okay, I hope you like it. I'll just turn this off at this point.